I'm Hans and I'm back. This is my channel. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't been here before, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be going through all of these amps that I've already done reviews on and I'm going to pick the very best one and tell you why. And I got to tell you, after listening to all of these already once, it could be, there could be a tie for first and second. I'm not sure. So I'm going to listen to all these really quick. Again, I'm not going to waste your time with it, but I do want to kind of really go through, listen to each one, kind of play with the the uh, travel bass, any of the, the EQ that I can actually play with and to see how good I can get each one to sound and then give my honest opinion on each one. So we'll fast forward through all of this and then we'll get to the meat of it and tell you which one I like the best and why. Let's go! This is a disclaimer I'm going to put in every one of these videos really quick, just so that you guys understand that I understand you're not going to be able to tell exactly how these speakers sound or not even close to be honest with you because you're just listening to the whole thing through my lavalier mic. I get that. So you're just going to have to take my word for it. If it sounds good, it sounds good. You'll be able to get the gist of it but you're not going to be able to get any true audio sound. So just take my word for it. Thank you guys. First problem that we've had so far with any of these, and I've already hooked this one up. We already showed you this one. This is the Fosse audio that's got the more kind of uh, EQ set up in front of this thing. And I can't get it to connect to Bluetooth anymore. If we can't connect it, it's not working. All right, we tried. done i have really been impressed i gotta say there's a couple there's only a, a couple that were really like second place winners and everybody else was like first for a different reason so this is my first pick this thing sounds amazing um but <clears throat> i would say it's not as good as some of the fossi audio ones because there's not as much bass control directly in here but i get what they were doing with this you have your treble and your bass, and that's basically controlling the treble and the bass coming out of your speakers. Your subwoofer has its own dial on it. So when you set it up, you're gonna set that dial however much bass you want coming out of that subwoofer. The amp is gonna have its own little adjustment. So they didn't put that on here, so you can't really adjust that side of the bass as much through here. You're gonna have to do it through your sub. So they kind of just did the minimalist volume, but the thing I like about this is it has two zones. So you have two sets of speakers that you could have in the front or the back, however you wanted to do it, whether you wanted to just have front and back speakers in your car, in your van, in your RV, outside speakers, inside speakers, whatever, you have two zones. And this thing sounds by far way better than any RV head unit I've ever seen. So. This one is a really, really good one. I gave it first place. This is the, what is it called? The S299. And if you're looking for these on Amazon or whatever, I will go ahead and put a link to that down below. And you'll probably be able to look at the other video if you wanted to see that. I will leave a tag for that. It does come with a remote as well. I didn't even try to use this because why would I? I'm sitting right here. Okay. So I have two categories, powered and non-powered amps. So some of these, like this one particularly, you are not even able to plug this into anything except for a powered subwoofer. Some of the other ones have another set of plugs for speakers that we add a subwoofer, and then at that point, this is actually driving the subwoofer. This one is not. So this is my number two I did not give this guy a big score. It was not that great. This is the Doke Audio. 
I listened to it last night and I was really impressed with it. But then I listened to it against all of these other ones just side by side and just didn't quite cut it. It wasn't as clean. It wasn't, it seemed like it was kind of, it would peak out at the higher volumes and I didn't listen to anything but Bluetooth on it. So I don't know. I mean, it could have been something to do with that, but I kind of doubt it. Doke Audio. This is the M1 Pro. It's good. It's just not comparatively to these ones. It's not as good. Fossey Audio. Oh, this is a bummer. This was the one I was kind of looking forward to hearing this to compare it to this knob sound, which came in second as well. And these ones, you have the option on this one to just do the, this actually powers the sub. It did a great job. It really rocked the floor. I have the subwoofer down here. It did a pretty darn good job. This thing sounded pretty good. I remember this one last night when I did get it to connect to Bluetooth, it sounded pretty good and I was kind of impressed with it just the size wise because I thought that this one sounded a little bit better than the knob sound. Um, this is a non-powered subwoofer version and so I gave it number two because my favorite one so far was the non-powered Fosse Audio, who knows, this is the BT-30A. You guys take a look at that bt 30 a let me see how do i get that to you there you go bt 30 a this one is an animal this was my number one pick for a non-powered subwoofer it doesn't have an option to plug it into a powered subwoofer there's no rca that goes to the subwoofer so you can plug it in you just have to make your own wire and it'll work but you don't have to use the amp on that because this is providing the sound to that amp or to that subwoofer this one as small as it is it just totally rocked the whole i mean it sounded so good and it balanced so well like with the the but with bass coming out of here the bass coming out of that it wasn't like you had to try to tweak it and try to get it to to not be as much bass here. It sounded really good. It distributed the bass very well. Let's put it that way. Um, it's a very basic, simple, there's treble bass and volume and a power switch and that's it. My number one pick for non-powered, there it is. Moving on, my favorite still. And again, I can't tell you exactly why. This one is only set up to be used with a powered subwoofer, which is fine. And that's just the other category. So there were some of these that did this and some of them you had to use that. Um, this one, again, the way, I, I think that the best way to describe it compared to all these other Fosse's as well, because this is the same brand as a lot of these ones here. This one just sounded like a record, like, like vinyl. It gave it kind of a warmer feel. It didn't have I don't know what, I don't know how to describe it other than that. It's like a digital file that you listen to, like an MP3, or you put a record on and you kind of get that warmer feel and I don't know what it is, but this has this really unique sound. And so I really like this one a lot. It just def definitely, this is my number one pick. This is the one that I got that was used and broken and it wasn't working when I got it. And I kind of think I fixed it accidentally. It just started working. Um, this one comes with this remote. You can see the remote's definitely been used. This thing has been used and scratched up and beat up and whatever. So um, I, I was bummed about that, but I do like the way it sounds. This is by far the best one that we've listened to so far. Um, I, I like a lot of these. They're really, really good. So number one pick here. This is my number one pick for the RV. This is my number one pick for the non-powered or sorry, this is my number one pick for the powered. This is my number one pick for the non-powered. No Bluetooth, number two, but number two, boo. Number two, boo. No Bluetooth, boo. So these are the picks right here. <clears throat> Best RV slash head unit for some kind of vehicle, boom. This one here, which is the S299, I really like that one. Definitely a lot of options here with the SD card and the USB. And that one is definitely, it's that's a good one. I really like that one. This one, 
definitely my favorite out of all of them so far, and that is the, the Fosse Audio DA2120A. I don't think you're gonna, focus, focus. There it is. You guys, take that home. This is the one, this is the one I like. But you have to have a powered subwoofer. So this is the best for the non-powered subwoofer. If you just have a really big bass speaker and you wanna use that as your sub, or if you have a sub like mine that I pulled out of one of my cars, this one is a animal. This thing is so good, it sounds so nice and clean and it's basic and you don't really have to fuss with all of the different channels. So this is the Fosse Audio BT30A. So you can watch the unboxings and kind of like setups with these ones if you wanna do that. I'm gonna give my number two, this is the knob sound. And again, this one I'm using in my house. I like it, it's good. It's definitely good, but it's kind of just good. It's just okay. This one is for a non-powered subwoofer. So this is providing the power to the subwoofer. And then you have all of your controls for the subwoofer so you can adjust it however you like to listen to your music just by turning all these little knobs. And I don't know, it was just okay. And this one here was the Doke Audio, which I really liked when I heard it the first time. I really liked it. I thought it was really, really good. Um, I listened to it again today and it was just okay comparatively. I have to be honest and compare it with these other ones. If I bought this and I didn't know any better, I would definitely be super stoked. This thing was like, it sounds amazing. It's really, really good. Um, the USB in the front there gives you the option to play some MP3s or whatever. So it gives you a little more option than these other ones do. And then finally, my Fosse Audio. This one here, what's the model on this? This is the BT30D. And this is 2.1 Bluetooth. And again, this actually has both. So you can actually hit the, put the subwoofer on like the non-powered and the powered subwoofer. So this is a great one. And last night when I listened to it, I thought it sounded great, but no Bluetooth. I couldn't get it to connect. So that is kind of a bummer. That was that one. And that is my final statement on these. So we looked at six of them and my number one row right here. And then the rest of these, they're not junk by any means. They're not garbage. They're awesome. But are they as awesome as these ones? I don't think so. So that's my two cents, guys. I hope that you guys, hopefully this was helpful for you. Again, I don't think any of these are really bad. I think that most of them just are awesome and they work great, but these are my favorites for sure so far. Thank you guys for watching. <clears throat> we are gonna be getting back into motorcycles as well, so I'm gonna order some more motorcycles, but it's just too cold right now, so we gotta finish up the, a couple of the projects that we started. I'm gonna do an electric bike this summer, electric motorcycle, and uh, we're gonna keep chugging away, doing these little projects. I hope you guys like my channel. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to subscribe, it helps me out a lot. I really appreciate it. If you want to get notified for the next video that we do, hit the bell button and you'll get a notification when I post the next video. So thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. You guys will see me in the next video. Let's go!